we now have full details of the highly anticipated UCS Razor Crest LEGO set. Hey guys, so for a couple of months now we've known about the UCS Razor Crest set and only now are we getting a full detailed description of the set, likely because the reveal date is very very soon, which I will get into very soon, but of course first we need to just quickly recap the basic details of this set that everyone should know. So this is set number 75331, the UCS Razor Crest. This is obviously based off the Mandalorian, specifically season one, which I'll get into the minifigures very, very soon. This will come with 6,187 pieces and will retail for likely 600 US dollars, which is a very big price. It was originally gonna be 530, but with price increases, it is likely going to be $600 now, of course. It could be a little lower, we will have to wait and see, but I'd just say expect 600 And if it's lower, then yay. This will be releasing on October 8th for everybody to LEGO stores, but if you are a LEGO VIP, you can get it five days earlier on October 3rd, so be on the lookout for that. And as for a reveal date, I heard something that it could be October 1st, I am not sure about that, that is very late. But LEGO have done things like that before, such as with the Hogwarts Express, I believe. So it's very interesting there, but of course we should be seeing the set soon either way. We have actually seen this build before from a leaked sticker sheet a while ago, which actually there shows us the UCS Res Chris build in a low quality. Here's the full sticker sheet, by the way, you can see two carbonite pieces included, and some other very cool details which I can't wait to see more of. Now, this build is definitely going to be amazing, but something a lot of people have been talking about is the minifigures, which we now have a concrete listing for what figures will be included, and I think sadly a lot of people will be disappointed by this, because only four figures are included, being the Mandalorian and his Durasteel armor from the start of Season 1, they will have arm printing though, so it's an updated figure, Baby Yoda in his cot, which is very interesting. I presume that piece, if it is an actual molded piece, will be included in Mandalorian Season 3 sets. Mithril is also included in the set, which we knew about, and so is Quill. I have, of course, seen the Quill minifigure. This image here is thanks to Commander Brooks, and we have also seen the Mithril head, so we've basically seen all we need to see for these minifigures, apart from, of course, the official reveal. Of course, people will be disappointed by this selection because, well, mostly of rumors. It was originally rumored by LEGO Fulcrum that a LEGO Ahsoka Tano minifigure from The Mandalorian will be included in the set. That turned out to be completely false, so that's a very annoying thing there. Honestly, LEGO Fulcrum has been kinda risky lately. He got a few things right, like of course the helmet, but if you remember with this, and then if you remember back to the start of, or the end of last year, with the accessory packs, there was that weird rumor that a Phase 1 Rex and Cody would be included in them, which turned out to be completely false. The way though, Fulcrum's account did get taken down a few weeks ago, which he did make a replacement one for, which also got taken down, but of course people thought he was gone, but then he teased on his YouTube channel that he would be coming back at some point, so very interesting there just kind of to keep in mind that of course not every rumor is real and i'm sorry every time i spread a fake rumor i am truly sorry i am merely just the newscaster and i try and of course get the most reliable things but of course i will just sometimes report on something that's a little risky and sometimes it turns out to be true like the republic fighter tank but other times it will turn out to be false, and just keep in mind, when I say take it with a grain of salt, take it with a grain of salt. Moving back on topic, a blurg will be included in the set, which is very good news. Now, instead of being a mold, it will be a brick-built thing, and apparently looks like a microfighter, so I'm assuming it'll look very similar to this one here from Commander Bricks. Uh, so that, of course, will look pretty cool. I presume they do it in grey, the blurgs look a bit grey, uh, but it's kind of interesting how there's only one included instead of two. That's fine though, because of course they will be displayed with minifigures on a display plaque. Now, with everything here, you may have noticed that I haven't sourced anything, and that's because this is all coming from an official description of the set that leaked from a site which is going to sell the set, and then this was backed up by Promo Bricks. So now, I just wanted to kind of put all the necessary information out first, and now we're going to talk about the interior details of the build. Well, after the vague action sentence of revealing the name and the number, it gives us details that it will be 72 centimeters in length, which is pretty massive, honestly. As it contains plenty of authentic details reminiscent of memorable moments from Star Wars The Mandalorian, here's the interior details now. Top of the ship and its huge engines lift up for easy viewing of the detailed interior, and the cockpit is removable to provide access to sleeping spaces. Ship has side hatches and a cargo compartment with a 
weapons locker, a minifigure sized carbon freezing chamber and more, as well as a removable escape pod. Also includes a display stand for all the minifigures there including all the details I said before and a bloke buildable figure which I said, which is of course very interesting. And now from what I've heard it is not going to be like the Republic gunship because quite simply the build's too heavy, so it will have its landing gear which will stand it up and then this like display thing will go on the side similar to how the UCS 8080 does it. That just sounds incredible, it sounds very accurate and has all the rooms that I'd want that are obviously shown in the show, it's very very exciting and just sounds like a truly accurate and wonderful model. I really can't wait to see it, it's everything I hoped it to be, obviously maybe I'd want some other minifigures but as I said from the start I was expecting a little bit, that of course changed with the Ahsoka rumour, but of course this does make sense to what I originally thought. As I said though the only rumoured release date is around October 1st but I am presuming we will see something before then, so just keep an eye out, I will post a video if we have anything huge announcement for the set. But other than that, this is probably going to be my last rumor update for descriptions on this set. Please let me know your thoughts down below though, are you excited for the UCS Razor Crest? Even more importantly, are you going to buy it even if you like it, because $600 is a lot for a LEGO set. Either way though, that'll be all for today, I hope you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe, that'll be all folks, goodbye.